my cables have arrived. They've been cut and crimped, ready to go into the car. I want to see if I can get these all installed and possibly get the first test drive sorted out before the end of the weekend. And just see how nicely done these are. Very nicely crimped with hexagonal crimps and heat shrunk as well. Very tidily done. Now I've got to make all of these nice little cables fit into here. Let's start by jacking up the car. It's also a good idea to tape up your tools if you're going to start working with uh, battery terminals. The last thing I really want is a uh, short circuit wiping out a bunch of batteries that I've just paid far too much money for. Now I've got the not so glamorous task of slithering about underneath the car and installing this cable all the way up to the front of the car. This week on Undercar Confessions. God. This is not as fun as it looks. Very tight spot to work with under here. I've almost finished one cable from the front to the back. We will connect that one up. Progress is ticking along nicely. Oh, cock. As you can see, I've got the controller and the control box set up on the panel so that by undoing the bolts it simply swings out, allowing easy access to the um, battery number one hidden underneath it. Alright, that's one installed. It's looking good so far. Just got to install this new one down here. But then we can start installing these smaller ones. Well, that's under the car sorted. I'm now working on the engine bay, getting all of these cables sorted, making sense out of all of this chaos. Anyone who thought this was going to be easy and fun needs a whack with the reality stick. I'm now working out uh, what cables I've connected so far and which length cables go where from my little chart here. Well, it's looking a bit octopus-like, but we're getting there. We're about a third of the way connecting the batteries now. Just doing up the, the last of the front cables. I'm wearing the gloves now because the potential's got up to, what is it, about 72 volts now, yeah. So uh, I don't want to be in the way of that. Not so tight that it's straining it, but tight enough so it's not going to come off. And that is the front. Looks like an orange octopus fell in there. Alright, let's move on to the back. Now connecting the charging cables and then on top of that connecting the main jumper leads from each battery to each battery. Yeah, all done. So so from the controller minus all the way to the back battery. That, that one there, minus, here. minus, good. Positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. Okay, positive, positive goes through the fuse. It's all the fuse. And it's, that's According to me, that's it. That's all checks out okay. <sighs> the moment of truth. We're going to spin the wheels now. Uh, we've just spent the last five minutes going over everything before we're allowing any power to go through the circuit. So as far as we can tell, everything's connected correctly. So now we're going to, uh, with the front of the car jacked off the ground and the car in neutral, we're going to start connecting the power up and see what happens. 153 volts. Fantastic. Yep. Yep. Here we go. You ready? Yep. Take your stupid gloves off. <laughs> you excited? I'm excited. So am I. Alright, here we go. Yeah, we've got the power connected. Everything's working so far really well. I'll, uh, you can see here by touching the accelerator. I've got control of the wheels. Wow, easy to fly those wheels. <laughs> okay, uh, we're going to drop the car down, uh, take it out onto the road, and give it a little test drive. Um, 
You're going to have to wait for the next video for that though. <laughs> and yes, Nick, the heater works. Your idea is brilliant. I like it. Thank you. I owe you one.